Hello everyone and a very good evening to all of you and welcome to Baiju's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. So in this class, we'll be discussing the general knowledge uh, for the upcoming, especially the CMAT exam and any other exam which will be asking the, actually uh, uh, from uh, MBA, uh, uh, any other MBA exam which ask uh, GK or any other, let's say CUET exam or kisi or exam with the kare for that this class will be very, very beneficial. So here actually I give you questions and you are supposed to answer it in the live chat if you know the answer, uh, otherwise I will explain. Okay, so the first question says, which of the following cities hosted the first inland waterways development council meeting? Your options are Kolkata, New Delhi, Patna, Chandigarh. What is the right answer? You are supposed to answer. So, dekho, inland waterways hota hai. Dekho, ek to waterways hota hai, jo, uh, ocean mein hota hai. Okay, ocean and sea. So when we talk about inland waterways, we are talking about river. A river mein jo ship chalti hai na. So the ship or the sailing that happens in the river. The, that's called as inland waterways. So inland waterways development council meeting happen in the Kolkata. So A is the right answer. And uh, the shipping minister of India is Mr. Sarbanan Sonavan. He's a former chief minister of Assam. So first inland waterways development council meeting in Kolkata. So A is the right answer to this question. Okay. Uh, so I hope you are aware that uh, there are a lot of national waterways. The first one is very important. It starts from actually Haldia near Kolkata and goes up to Allahabad or what we call now it is as uh, Pariyagraj. Okay. Pariyagraj. So this is called as National Waterway 1. Like we have National Highways, I hope you are aware. There is a concept called as National Highway 1, National Highway 2 like that. So very similar to that, we have National Waterways as well. Okay. So National Waterways start from Haldia and ends in Allahabad, Pariyagraj. Okay. So this you should be knowing about it. Just a Pariyagraj to Haldia, stretch and uh, Ganga Bhagirathi Hogli River system, that's the National Waterway 1. So similarly, we have National Waterway 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. Now, the next one is in January this year, uh, South African, which South African cricketer recently announced his retirement from international test cricket. Your options are Nandre Berger, Tristan Stubbs, George Linde, Henrich, Klaasen. What is the right answer to this question? <coughs> Which se South African cricketer has announced retirement announce kiya international test cricket? Se? What is the right answer? Anyone? So the right answer is D. Henrich Klaasen is the right answer to this question. D is the right answer. Okay, he has taken retirement from red ball cricket with a test cricket match. So D is the right answer. So red ball cricket means test cricket match. Henry Klaasen announces test retirement. Okay, Glasen uh, will continue to play for the Proteus. Proteus in South Africa, ko Proteus we get South Africa cricket team. Ko. Uh, in white ball, white ball, matab, uh, he will continue to play in ODI and T20. But he has taken retirement in Test cricket. Now, the next is who among the following has won Best Female Actor Motion Picture Award at Golden Globes for her performance in Martin Scorsese's Killer of the Flowers Moon? Your options are Lily Gladstone, Mark Harman, Simon Baker. William Shatner. What is the right answer? Best Female Actor Motion Picture Award and Golden Globes Award. What is the right answer? Please answer it in the comment section. Okay, so the right answer is A. Lily Gladstone is the right answer to this question. And Hollywood actor Lily Gladstone won the Best Female Actor Motion Picture Award and Golden Globes. So A is the right answer. And uh, why it is important? Because she is a Native American. Okay. And that is why it becomes very, very important. First Native American actress who has got it. So it becomes very, very important. Star market, Lily Gladstone is the right answer to this question. Okay. Uh, yes, Anna, ye in ke mein important hai. you should be knowing about it. So Golden Globes Award is given in the USA. Uh, it's very similar. Like we have Oscar Awards. Anna. So see ke parallel ek award hota hai. Golden Globes Award. This is also announced from USA. Okay, Oscar bhi USA se diya hai. Anna. So that is what you should be knowing it. Uh, okay, let's move on to the next one. The book Maga Kavithai has been written by Varamuthu Pramod Kapoor, Amrita Pritam, Chetan Bhagat. What is the right answer? Maga Kavithai has been written. Book kisne likha hai? What is the right answer? Please answer it in the comment section if you know the answers. <coughs> okay, yes, the right answer is A. Varamuthu. So it has been inaugurated by or uh, released by the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Mr. M.K. Stalin. And the name of the book is Maga Kavitai, uh, written by Vaira Muthu. So A is the right answer to this question. Okay. 
राइट एम के लाइफ एंड वर्स लाइक यू डिड इट ऑन भारती सी एम टेल्स ठीक है सो दिस इज एक्चुअली इनोग्रेशन फोटो ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन हुज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द एग्जीक्यूटिव डायरेक्टर ऑफ एशियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक सो एशियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक इज हेड क्वार्टर्ड इन मनीला which actually you will find it in philippines okay now uh, one of the vice president is an actually an indian his name is mr ashok lavasa i hope you are aware of that and he is a former election ex election commissioner of india okay so the executive director of asian development bank is vikas sheel so b is the right answer to this question vikas sheel was appointed as the executive director of asian development bank at manila so b is the right answer okay <coughs> senior ice officer vikas sheel appointed executive director asian development bank okay uh, the next is who has unveiled the book ram mandir rashtra mandir ka ek saji virasat at the rang bhavan auditorium in delhi your options are narendra modi arif mohammad khan alok kumar gobind giri maharaj this book ram mandir rashtra mandir ek saji virasat has been written by whom kisne likha hai ye kitab please answer it in the comment section i am waiting for the answers Okay, so the right answer is Arif Muhammad Khan. He is actually the governor of Kerala. So B is the right answer to this question. Okay. 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 And it is jointly written by Geeta Singh and Arif Khan Bharti. Okay. Okay. Yes. This you should be knowing it. <coughs> okay. Yes. Now the next one is who has who has been appointed as the CEO, Chief Executive Officer of Indian Olympic Association, K R Kamnath, M V Tangsale, Rajiv Rishi, Raghuram Iyer. What is the right answer? <coughs> yes, Marjina, say yes. You were right. Is the first answer B? Tha? Yes. Question number seven. Who has been appointed as CEO, Chief Executive Officer of Indian Olympic Association? What is the right answer? Uh, the right answer is D. Raghuram Iyer is the right answer to this question. CEO of Indian Olympic Association. ठीक है, आईओए अपॉइंट्स बिडिंग राउंड ONGC, Oil and Natural Gas, Oil India Limited, Reliance Industries, Vedanta Limited. What is the right answer? Highest number of oil and gas blocks in the open acreage licensing policy bidding round. So the right answer is ONGC. ONGC का everyone knows Oil and Natural Gas Commission. So A is the right answer to this question. ठीक है? है ना? ONGC wins seven uh, Reliance BP one oil gas blocks है ना in latest bid. Uh, the next is who has taken over as the new chairman tourism industry grouping federation of association in indian tourism and hospitality faith nakul anand ajay singh puneet chatwar vistara ceo what is the right answer faith ke chairman kisko banaya gaya so the right answer is nakul anand so a is the right answer okay so just uh, the right answer is puneet chatwar sorry so c is the right answer to this question puneet chatwar replaces nakul anand As the head of Faith Tourism Association, just remember the name. That is more than enough. इससे ज़्यादा कुछ डिटेल नहीं जाना. Okay, if you are watching this class, नीचे description box में there is one on one counselling session is there. Okay, one on one counselling session is there. Link है, so click on this link and you will get this Google form. And everyone should fill this Google form. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next one. Which country has announced to become the first European nation to issue digital Schengen visa for visitors to the 2024 Olympic Paris Olympics? Your options are Switzerland. फ्रांस जर्मनी नेदरलैंड सुमन कुमार प्लीज गो टू अवर प्ले लिस्ट उसमें वी हैव डन इन द पास्ट वी हैव डन ए लॉट ऑफ क्लासेस तो वो सब जाके देख लीजिए इनफैक्ट लास्ट ईयर ऑल्सो वी डिड ए लॉट ऑफ क्लासेस तो उसका यूट्यूब पे अवेलेबल है वीडियो गो एंड वॉच दैट ठीक है दैट वुड बी बेनिफिशियल Which country has announced to become the first European nation to issue digital Schengen visa? The right answer is France. ठीक है. So B is the right answer to this question. Actually, होता क्या? Uh, let me tell you in short. So here is India. This is Europe. So Europe has formed its own what we call it as European Union, a 27 member grouping. And there is a concept of Schengen area where moving from one country to another country is very easy. ठीक है. So at, uh, with very little uh, permission, you can move from one place. Let's say here is France, here is Germany, here is Spain. 
सो यू कैन इजली मूव एन ऑल ठीक है सो दैट्स द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ शेंगन एरिया तो उसके लिए जो वीजा है वो ई वीजा फ्रांस एज स्टार्टेड ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन हु इज द ऑथर ऑफ द बुक वाई भारत मैटर्स योर ऑप्शन आर अमित शाह निर्मला सीतारामन एस जयशंकर राजनाथ सिंह वाई भारत मैटर्स के लेखक का नाम बताना है वॉट इज द राइट आंसर एनी मैन द राइट आंसर इज सी एस जयशंकर इज एक्चुअली द फॉरन मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया एंड ही हेज रिटर्न रिसेंटली बुक वाई भारत मैटर्स सो यू शुड बी नोइंग इट स्टार मार्क कर लेना सब पूछते हैं है ना ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन विच एनिमल हैज रिसेंटली बीन डिक्लेयर एज द नेशनल सिम्बॉल ऑफ किरिगिस्तान स्नो लेपर्ड याक ईगल हॉर्स नेशनल सिंबल ऑफ किरिगिस्तान किसको डिक्लेयर किया गया कौन से एनिमल को सो द राइट आंसर इज एक्चुअली स्नो लेपर्ड ए इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है नाउ वाई स्नो लेपर्ड इनिग्मेटिक बिग कैट ऑफ हाई एशिया नाउ नेशनल सिंबल ऑफ किरिगिस्तान ठीक है देखो यहाँ पर ना आई होप यू आर इसको पामीर नॉट कहते हैं यहाँ पर पामीर नॉट यहाँ पे बहुत सारी पहाड़ी है कुंडोन चांद हिमालय ठीक है so then you will find hindu kush there are different to yahan par jo na of course you will find uh, this is this region is also called as third pole and all na to yahan par bahut thand padti hai na so that is why uh, we uh, we are having snow leopard you will find it in this region hai na this is kyrgyzstan just north from kashmir theek hai where you will find it let's move on to the next one uh, where is the national fisheries development board established an eri silk spinning plant ye eri silk ye wala hota hai this one i have put it in the image as well guwahati assam mushalpur assam shillong meghalaya imphal manipur what is the right answer national fisheries development board <coughs> uh, the right answer is b mushalpur assam is the right answer to this question uh, okay so yeah uh, because assam is famous for silk and all right? so mushalpur is a place in assam where eri silk spinning plant has been set up so b is the right answer सिल्क बहुत तरह के होता है ना सो द लॉट ऑफ टाइप्स ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सिल्क सो बी इज द राइट आंसर है ना द नेक्स्ट वन इज फुटबॉलर फ्रांस बेकन बोर हैज पास अवे ही वाज अ लेजेंडरी फुटबॉलर ऑफ विच कंट्री फ्रांस पोर्चुगल इटली जर्मनी व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर फ्रांस बेकन बोर जो है उनका डेथ हो गया वो लेजेंडरी फुटबॉलर थे कौन से कंट्री के कैन इन मैन टेल मी So he was a legendary footballer of Germany. So D is the right answer, and he died at the age of 78. He won European Championship in 1972 and all, and uh, captain World Cup winning team on home in soil, uh, on home soil 1974. Okay. So just have an idea, Anna. In के बारे में पढ़ लेना. He was a very famous German footballer. Okay. He died recently. So that is why you should be knowing it. Okay. Uh, the next is in which country you will find the new IIT Madras campus be opened? Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh. देखो तो आई दिल्ली का कैंपस जो है यू में खुलने जा रहा है ना यू यूनाइटेड अरब इमिरेट्स में एंड आई मद्रास का दो कैंपस ओपन हो रहा है एक तो है जंजीबार तंजानिया में एंड अनदर वन इज एक्चुअली इन श्रीलंका श्रीलंका में एक जगह कैंडी इन श्रीलंका है ना तो यार द राइट आंसर इज ए इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है कैंडी इन श्रीलंका ठीक है आई मद्रास टू ओपन न्यू कैंपस एट कैंडी इन श्रीलंका एंड So here is state of Tamil Nadu. This is Sri Lanka, and here you will find Kandy. Okay. <coughs> or similarly, I have discussed that IIT Madras is opening another campus. Look, here we are. Chennai is not here. IIT Madras, okay? Similarly, we have IIT Madras campus uh, getting opened here. So this one, this is this is Tanzania, and Tanzania is a city. Here we have island, uh, Zanzibar island. Okay. Okay. That is what you should be knowing it. Uh, the next is in which city the 27th national youth festival be organized patna varanasi nasik kolkata what is the right answer dekho actually 12th january is celebrated or observed as national youth day why in the memory of which person so in the memory of swami vivekananda okay <coughs> okay so 27th national youth festival was organized So C is the right answer. Nasik is the right answer to this question. Okay. Okay. So just have an idea. And uh, here is the state of Maharashtra. Here, but Nasik will be there. Anna. And uh, Swami Vivekananda was born on 12 January, and that is why 12 January is celebrated as National Youth Day. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, we are having this MSCT specialized course, 55 plus live classes, 50 plus recorded video, 250 plus pre-recorded conceptual assessing class, dual mock test, 3500 3, practice questions are there. Okay, so download our app, go to the CAT MBA section, you will get this MSCT 2024 crash course. Uh, follow that, that would be very, very beneficial. 9 say 18 February that we are running an all India open mock for CAT 2024. So download our app. The link is given in the description from where you can attempt this. 19 to 25th February, we are having an all India open mock MHCT MBA Kelly. So again, the link is given in the description from where you can attempt these. And this is a CAT college uh, predictor hai, based on the profile. You, uh, you can go download our app. Aap app mein jau. This app ko download karo, MBA section mein jau, you will get these stuffs. Okay. Now the next is who introduced the Drishti 10 Starliner unmanned aerial vehicle. So, unmanned aerial vehicle is a drone. Ko a drone to sabko, aap log jante ho, okay? Na? I don't need to explain what is drone. So uh, who has introduced this, this Drishti 10 Starliner drone? Uh, it has been built by which company? Yes, Vinayak. Uh, any question? Please answer these questions. The right answer is Adani Defense and Aerospace. So B is the right answer to this question. Na? So, you can see, Navy Chief unveils first indigenously manufactured Drishti UAV of Adani Defense and Aerospace. So, you can see, here is Navy Chief. His name is Admiral R. Hari Kumar. He was asked last year's exam. Mein. This was asked uh, last year in uh, testnet exam. Admiral R. Hari Kumar. Okay. <coughs> so, autonomous systems becoming preferred choice in order of uh, battle for nations across the globe, says Navy Chief. Okay. And this is Drishti 10. And this is the white color. Ka. This is the drone. So drone lamba bohut bade size ka bhi aata hai aap dekh rahe ho ki kafi bada hai uh, and it must be actually armed drones iske andar uh, matlab uh, weapons vakara bhi rakha sakta hai hai na aap dekho it has been built by adani defense system okay uh, the next is ustad rashid khan who passed away recently was a famous personality of which field classical musician politician actor sports this is important star market ustad rashid khan jinka death hua tha ho gaya tha recently uh, wo kaun se field se belong karte hain uh, actually, he was a very famous classical musician, uh, born in Uttar Pradesh, and Badanyu Uttar Pradesh, and later on, I think, settled in West Bengal and all. Anna. So, he died uh, battling cancer. So, A is the right answer to this question. Well, Maestro Stad Rashid Khan passes away at the age of 55. Uh, let's move on to the next one. In June, January 2024, Mayur Bhanj district, Red Weaver Ants has been awarded GI tag. This product received GI tag for which of the following state? Odisha, Bihar, Assam, uh, Punjab. If you know this, where Mayur Bhaj district is, so you can easily answer it. Okay. Anyone? So Mayur Bhaj is actually, you will find it in Odisha. Okay. Uh, Kai Chutney says this way. Okay. Uh, red and Chutney. Uh, red and Chutney. Likhan hai. Gets the eye tag. Okay. <coughs> and uh, it's got medicinal and nutritional uh, hai, benefits. Hai. Okay. So just have an idea about it. Mayur Bhanj, uh, actually in the forest of Mayur Bhanj, Semli Pal Forest, uh, Semli Pal National Park B, you will find it in the state of Odisha. Okay, uh, the next is which of the following country will host UNESCO's World Heritage Committee, uh, um, Heritage Committee in 2024. The World Heritage UNESCO, ki World Heritage Committee can annual meeting hota har saal. Okay? Every year the meeting happens. And you have to tell me this year the meeting of UNESCO World Heritage Committee is going to happen where? Or uh, UNESCO ka headquarter ka hai? First of all, UNESCO stands for United Nations Educational Scientific Cultural Organization, headquartered in Paris, France. Okay. Okay. So UNESCO's World Heritage Committee in 2024, uh, who will host? So India is actually going to host. So A is the right answer to this question. Okay. <coughs> in New Delhi, na? In a first India to chair host UNESCO's World Heritage Committee in 2024. So A is the right answer. Now. Okay, and uh, the next is uh, question number 21. Who has been appointed as the new Secretary General of BEMSTEC? Look, uh, BEMSTEC uh, full form, how many states are, uh, it is a grouping of seven nations, okay. including India. It stands for Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation. Okay. And where it is headquartered? Can anyone tell me? It is headquartered in Dhaka, Bangladesh. <coughs> so recently the Secretary General has been appointed. Raj Ayer has been appointed as the Secretary General of BEMSTEC. So D is the right answer to this question. 
सॉरी एक मिनट सी इज द राइट आंसर प्लीज करेक्ट इट इंद्र मानी पांडे इंडियन डेप्लोमैट हेज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज सेक्रेटरी जनरल ऑफ बेम्स्टेक ठीक है सो एक्चुअली दीज आर द नेशंस पार्ट ऑफ बेम्स्टेक सो इंडिया नेपाल भूतान बांग्लादेश म्यांमार थाईलैंड एक दो तीन चार पांच छ एंड श्रीलंका सात ठीक है सो दिस वन इज भूतान दिस वन इज बांग्लादेश आई एम राइटिंग इन शॉर्ट दिस वन इज नेपाल देन इंडिया म्यांमार थाईलैंड श्रीलंका सो दीज आर द सेवन नेशंस विच आर पार्ट ऑफ बेम्स्टेक Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical Economic Cooperation, headquarter in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Okay. Uh, the next one is uh, what venue used for the tenth vibrant Gujarat Global Summit? Ahmedabad, Gandhi Nagar, Surat, Porbandar. So tenth vibrant Gujarat Summit was actually, of course, it will happen in Gujarat, and the chief guest was also invited from foreign nations, and actually it happened in <coughs> sorry, uh, in Gandhi Nagar, Gujarat. so b is the right answer to this question b kar dena isko the capital of uh, gujarat is gandhinagar where this happened pm modi inaugurates vibrant gujarat global summit in gandhinagar and where uh, chief guests from foreign nations were also invited uh, if you are watching this class niche jana links mein there is actually one and one counseling session is there so click on this link and you will get this google form and everyone should fill this google form that would be very beneficial our team will help you Uh, find out the best course for you hai na okay uh, the next is what was the theme of the 10th edition of vibrant gujarat uh, global summit that happened 10th edition batana theme correcting india to the world gateway to the future shaping a new india gujarat going global so the theme was gateway to the future so b is the right answer aap yahan dekh sakte ho Vibrant Gujarat Summit, 10 से 12 जनवरी, Gateway to the Future, 10th Global Summit है ना? Okay, uh, let's move on to the next one. Uh, the next is who among the following was the chief guest at Vibrant Gujarat Summit? Chief guest कौन थे? ये important है. This can be asked in the exam. French President, Czech Republic President, German Chancellor, Brazilian President. <coughs> Vibrant Gujarat Summit में chief guest कौन था? जो कि 10 से 12 जनवरी के बीच हुआ था. And it happened actually in Gandhi Nagar, Gujarat, है ना? So who was the chief guest? Anyone? आप आंसर कीजिए। We are waiting for the answers. The right answer is Czech Republic President B is the right answer. ठीक है? Czech uh, PM to be the chief guest at Vibrant Gujarat Summit, so B is the right answer. Uh, let me show you in the map. Here is India. This is Europe. And here you will find this one is Czech Republic. ठीक है? ओके, सो यहाँ पे चेक रिपब्लिक है इसके कैपिटल है पराग ठीक है एंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ दैट कंट्री वाज एक्चुअली द चीफ गेस्ट एट वाइब्रेंट गुजरात समिट ठीक है द नेक्स्ट इज द बुक संस्कृति के अयाम हैज बीन रिटन बाय होम अनिरुद्ध भारती वी के अग्रवाल जे के रॉलिंग मनोरमा मिश्रा संस्कृति का अयाम बुक किसने लिखा है दिस बुक कैन यू मैन टेल मी So the right answer is D. Manorama Mishra is the right answer to this question. Anna. Manorama Mishra. Hindi me. You can see. Anna. So General V K Singh. He is a former army chief and he is currently the Union Minister for uh, Minister of State for uh, Road Transport and Highway and Minister of Civil Aviation. He launched this book, Sanskrit Ki Ayam, authored by Manorama Mishra. Okay. So just have an idea. Uh, he is General V K Singh. Uh, he is a former army chief of India. If you will see, he has served as army chief of India. is minister of state for civil aviation b take okay? a minister of state for road transport highway okay? and he has earlier served as army chief as well okay and from 2010 to 2012 now uh, the next one is question number 26 which says as per the prestigious award by sky tracks in 2023 which airport was crowned world's best airport for the year 2023 singapore's changi airport qatar's hamad international airport in john international airport Indira Gandhi International Airport, New Delhi. <coughs> What is the right answer? World's best airport for the year 2023 goes to Singapore Changi Airport. So A is the right answer to this question. Regained its title as the world's best airport for the year 2023 according to the Sky Tracks. So the airport research firm is he has his ranking out. So A is the right answer. Uh, so here is India. Here you will find Singapore. Yes. Now, ah, ये है आप फोटो देख सकते हो. It's quite beautiful. This is the airport of Singapore, है ना? 
देखने से काफी खूबसूरत लग रहा है ना ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन विच आर द फॉलोइंग इज एन इंडियन जज हु इज करेंटली द जज इन आईसीजे आईसीजे मतलब इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस ओके कैन इन मैन टेल मी वेर इज द हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस कहां पे हेड क्वार्टर है and one more thing why it is in the news because recently uh, the south africa filed a petition in icj against israel against israel and south africa alleged that israel is doing genocide in gaza and that is why icj was in the news so international court of justice is headquartered in the hague in netherland the icj jo hai na you will find it in the hague netherland okay so the right answer is uh, b justice dalveer bhandari is the right answer to this question okay so the oh, there is one indian judge actually there are 15 judges and right? and out of these 15 judges one is an indian as well his name is justice dalveer bhandari aapko pata hona chahiye he is a former supreme court judge ex supreme court judge of india okay <coughs> so b is the right answer to this question and right? aap dekh sakte ho and uh, he was earlier a judge of he is currently from 2012 onwards is actually the icj uh, judge and earlier he was the judge of supreme court then chief justice of bombay high court pehle reh chuke usse pehle earlier he was and before that he was been uh, the judge of delhi high court uh, now theek okay. hai now the next one is who among the following is the chief architect of ram mandir uh, the pran pratishtha of ram mandir happened on 22nd january so koi ye batane ki who is the chief architect chandrakant so pura ram vi sutar bimal patel hafiz contractor what is the right answer <coughs> Anyone? Please answer it if you know the answers. Uh, the right answer is A is the right answer. Okay. Ram Vishnu Sutar, who is the chief architect of Statue of Unity, which you will find it where in Ahmedabad. I mean, uh, not in Ahmedabad, uh, near Gujarat, uh, in Gujarat, na. Narmada River ke pas. Uh, Bimal Patel is the chief architect of uh, the new Parliament building. New Parliament building. this you should be knowing it or chandrakant sompura you should be knowing it so a is the right answer he is the architect of ram temple in ayodhya so you should be knowing it a is the right answer uh, what is the old name of district of ayodhya because it has been in the news faizpur faizabad lakhimpur jaunpur so earlier the district name of ayodhya was something else which later recently got changed means few years back so earlier it was called as the district of faizabad And uh, the name got changed to Ayodhya district. So Ayodhya is a city as well, uh, which is a very old city. Uh, but at the same time, the name of the district was Faizabad. Now it is called as Ayodhya. So B is the right answer. <coughs> Now the next is what is the name of the river that passes through Ayodhya? Because Ayodhya has been in the news recently uh, because of the inauguration of Ram Temple and all. Uh, so your options are Ganga, Gomti, Sariu, Gandak. What is the right answer? River that passes through Ayodhya. Uh, the right answer is Sarju River. कहीं कहीं पे Sarju भी लिखते हैं, ठीक है? So it's uh, there are uh, different pronunciation, but Sarju ऐसे लिखते हैं, ठीक है? So just have an idea. See the right answer. Sarju या Sarju कहते हैं, ठीक है? This is the river which passes through Ayodhya. So that is what you should be knowing it. Uh, Who among the following was the first Chief Justice of India? These are some static GK questions as well, है ना? Justice M H B H H R Khanna H J Kaniya A N R E. C J I मतलब Chief Justice of India. So the right answer is C. Justice H. J. Kaniya was the first Chief Justice of India. C is the right answer. Okay. Uh, first female lawyer of India. Tell me. This is a basic static GK question. Ah, you should know this. Anyone? The right answer is Cornelia, Cornelia Sorabji. So C is the right answer. India's first woman lawyer. Okay. Uh, the next is uh, this is important. You should ask in exam. Many times. The first woman to become the president of UN General Assembly, Nikki Haley, Vijay Lakshmi Pandit, Jacinda Ardern, Frida Dalin. First woman to become the president of UN General Assembly. The important उसका एक और reason ये कि actually she is from India. None other than Vijay Lakshmi Pandit, sister of Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India. ठीक है. ठीक है. 
first woman to become the president of UNJL assembly. So B is the right answer. Vijay Lakshmi Pandit is the right answer to this question. Anna. First woman president of UNJL assembly. Uh, yes. But uh, because this is important. Na. Unki baare mein Vijay Lakshmi Pandit is important. In 1953 she became. So first from India. So there is only one president of UNJL assembly from India. Till now Vijay Lakshmi Pandit. Agar ye puchha jai first woman president of UN General Assembly, again the same answer. B is the right answer. Uh, who among the following uh, was the chief guest of Hojaga Pass? Okay. Was the chief guest of this year Republic Day? So, is such a Republic Day, 26 January 2024. Who was the chief guest? US President, French President, Czech President, uh, German Chancellor. Kya si jawab hai? So, the chief guest of this year Republic Day was French President Emmanuel Macron. Na na? So he visited, he visited actually army airport, you would find it in Jaipur. So he visited Jaipur as well. Anna. So join PM Modi for a road show. Anna. So French President Emmanuel Macron. So B is the right answer. Okay. Uh, the next is who was the chief guest of Republic Day last year? Achha, last year, who chief, chief guest? This year, who was the French President? Thai, Anna. And last year, 2023, mein, the, president, uh, the Egyptian President, uh, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi was the a Republic Day Chief Guest, okay? So, this is the last year, 2023, Abdul Fattah al-Sisi from Egypt, okay? And this year, who is it? Emmanuel Macron. This is the important thing, this year, we will Emmanuel Macron, the President of France, okay? So, oh, this is the right answer to this question, okay? Okay, uh, if you are watching this class, go down in the description box, mein, there is a link. One on one counseling session ka link is there in the description. So click karna, you will get this Google form and everyone should uh, fill this Google form. So this is all about today's class. Uh, thank you everyone. Uh, please subscribe to our channel, follow us Instagram, Facebook, Telegram, download the Baiju's exam prep app. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.